Okay. You change the volume of gas at constant temperature. Yes, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. That's kind of intuitive, but we can be more specific. PV equals nRT. NRT is constant because we have N moles. That's not going to change. And we said the temperature is constant. And R, of course, is your gas constant, right? Okay. So what does the graph of P versus V look like? Let's just start at a random point on the board. Let me get a piece of chalk that I can spare. Turn around, close my eyes, and hit the board. There. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we'll take the larger of the two spots, and we're going to start here. And we're going to draw a curve through this point that represents pressure as a function of volume. What's the shape of that curve going to be like? 1 over x. It's going to be like a transformed reciprocal, basic reciprocal function. Good, good answer. You've been tutoring pre-calculus or something? Okay. <laughs> so the curve is going to be a reciprocal. And it's going to be symmetric, like so. Depends on your scale. You know, if you stretch it this way, just by changing your labeling your p-axis, then it's not going to look as symmetric. But it's going to be something like this. Okay. So here is. First of all, this is p naught. It's p naught p naught. Do these in the right order. V naught. P naught. Okay? So here is the isothermal curve. The isothermal P versus V function, right? Now, do you want to compress this or expand it? Which way? would correspond to an expansion. Going to the left. To the left would be an expansion. So you go to the left, what happens to the volume? It gets smaller. It gets larger. Oh. No, it doesn't. You know it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you said it wrong. But it, it's easy to mix it up, which is why I want you to stop and think about it, right? Okay? So, yeah, here is expansion. And here is compression, right? Starting from this point. So what do we want to do? Do we want to compress it or expand it? Well, because of the way I've labeled the graph, we're going to compress it. Because if we expand it, our graph is going to end up overlapping all my labeling, and it's going to be hard to read. OK? If I'd labeled it on this side, we could have expanded it. Okay, so we, we, we compress it isothermally. Now, how do you compress a gas isothermally? How do you keep the temperature constant? You do it super fast so that the temperature can't change. That's exactly wrong. <laughs> because if you do it super fast, the energy that you put into it stays in it, which increases the temperature which is kind of going to contradict the idea of isothermal, isn't it? Okay? But thank you for the answer. Now, what, what, what some of the rest of you think? Real slow. Got to be real slow. Now, if it's real slow, how does that keep it isothermal? The heat has time to flow out. Yeah. You have a, some kind of surroundings, right? And due to thermal conduction, which we just talked about, temperature, the, the, the heat is going to tend to flow from the container, the piston, the, the, the bottle or whatever, into whatever the environment is, right? Okay, and the environment is presumably at whatever temperature you start at. We don't have it labeled or assumed a temperature, okay? So,
Okay. Now, if you're making a heat engine out of this, slow is not necessarily a good thing. Okay. But what we're doing is we're building an isothermal engine, which uh, not isothermal, eighty of them. Carnot engine. Okay. We have isothermals and adiabatics, and uh, yeah, okay, well, we're going to see. Okay, so we expand it. Uh, sorry, we compress it. Sorry, we we'll compress it. Okay, we go this way, and that's compression. Okay, and at some point, we decide that's enough, or we run out of the ability to compress, or whatever. So we follow this curve. up to some point. And now we compress that sucker adiabatically. Now we compress it adiabatically, what's going to happen to the temperature? Well, all the energy we put in, I'm sorry, we're not going to compress it adiabatically. If we do, we're going to go the wrong way. Okay? We could, but we don't have room to take us up off the board. We're going to Compress it. We're going to let it expand adiabatically. Okay? So we've compressed it isothermally and we build up some pressure, right? So maybe we just uh, take whatever's